on losers aside uh top eight qualifiers let's do this yeah so jacka uh, are taking out phoenix and a strat so far in losers those are two heavy heavy hitting snakes that, that, that were both making runs of their own that they had to take out to make it here jacka the pride of switzerland the hero of isabel and is kicking things off uh with, with a bang with this uh with this uh this firework lloyd getting planted in the ground and Absolutely. uh ja jacka just sort of s establishing this game against uh Rakyur, really dissuading what greninja likes to do most which is jump into the air hop around use Ooh. these landing aerials and drag downs but you know what Rakyo says screw that i'm gonna do it anyway try to get that Some drag really down nice into the areas. juicy combo off the side great the eye what scooped it from Wait, all huh? the way downtown so all the way downtown the lloyd covering the recovery of that fishing rod jack has got all the tricks the traps and everything in between but rock with an up tilt into the up air and head straight into the heavens with a forward air to secure the first stock of the set wow rock just not letting jack breathe in any way shape or form neither letting you breathe galaxy by the seams of things there rock playing really really nicely here the pressure really getting to jack as you can see there beautiful nair gets the drive down of the first uh first hit drag down there beautiful beautiful stuff they're coming up from rack Hill. once again jack is struggling here to find a way to get anywhere near close down tilt into up smash beautiful stuff coming up from rack Hill. once again using the up b there and i am in love with the movement here that we're seeing three stocks to one already taken within the blink of an eye here lloyd rocket set up once again jack are trying to play the long game but here rack Hill can do that too taking out the rocket this is a huge game changer for that kind of uh for that kind of thing to happen Oh! Rakio looking to end this as fast as possible here. Jacka able to make it back up, trying to look for the stage spike. Isn't able to find it here. Gets the back hair. Looking for another one here. Rakio once again into the neutral B. What a f oh, wow. I, I almost said something. What a, what a, what a fat hitbox. <laughs> Taking the first game there. What a fast what a way to end that. Oh my god. Rakio. Game number one taken in the blink of an eye. Jacka couldn't even get the time to breathe their galaxy. Jacka tried to establish like a fast game from the start. Jacka was, you know, like getting in there, like being aggressive with the spacing of the forward airs, trying to cover as much ground, sh trying to shut Rakio down into a corner and like uh, pressure them from there. And, uh, and Rakio was immediately like, <laughs> nah, that ain't gonna fly by me, buddy. And just Absolutely, was yeah. walking all over Jacka like, a, like a, a freshly placed path on my eye Island on Animal Crossing, like just <laughs> absolutely covered over in concrete. Oh my god, these oh, hello, hello, getting a, a third and up these up tilts into those drag down up airs are absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful counter coming up from Rakio once again into the upbeat Jacka, literally feeling the pressure here. The Nair hitting the hitting the balloons this time around, so Jacka was able to get a nice punish off of that with the grab. Now uh, Rakio forced to play back and has to just try to deal with this as, as best as he can right now. Both players trying to throw out projectiles to just keep each other at bay here. Once again, good dash attack from Jacka once more. Throws out the side B again. And as you can see, Rakio trying to throw out these projectiles. The Isabel said, no, nah, it ain't happening as he's managed to uh, pocket that and throw it right back. Adam is again. Gets oh, it yes. Jacka, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Taking the first stock of, of uh, Rakio. Gorgeous setup as well. Catching Rakio off guard with that long ranged uh, fishing rod. The smash input you know going slightly further and using the forward momentum to make to make it go uh sort of visually uh slightly further as well catching rock your off guard neutral get up straight into it but diving off the side of the stage with that surprisingly high reaching forward air rock your evening up the scores straight away but now jack with the slight lead can actually force rock to approach in ways that they don't want and can actually cover this high full hop height with these lloyds like we're seeing time after time jacka has the game plan but uh when you're up against such a high speed character to like Greninja, it's not always easy to execute. Absolutely. Good dash attack coming out from Rakio once again, wants to try and establish some sort of dominance there, but isn't able to as Jacka is the one that's going to be able to do that this time, reversing the situation here, taking Rakio out of the picture with that beautiful, beautiful forward tilt there. Jacka looking to looking to find something with these up tilts. However, Rakio is not going to let it have a beautiful read into the up smash. Not going to kill, however, Rakio. Just playing this very, very slowly. Gets a dash attack here. Jacka playing very, very cautiously with that air dodge there. That forward air, however. Good DI there from Jacka. Still surviving here. The Isabel player hanging on 127% here. Rakio getting the, getting the jab once more. This game looking a lot more longer than it did before.
Looking for yeah. this back air, isn't able to find it here. Jacket able ah. to get back up onto stage just in time. Now, timing was a little bit off. The Lloyd Rock is there as compensation, but throwing out those forward airs, good stuff there. Good nair once again. The edge guarding from Jacket is immaculate right now here, Galaxy. Yeah, no, the ledge trapping definitely. Uh, Isabel saving grace. S similar to sort of DDD in terms of, you know, like a very exploitable character, but with one huge saving grace in terms of that ledge trapping. And this is uh, sort of like one uh, weakness, or r rather one of two weaknesses that Greninja really has. One is the out of shield, but the other that we're seeing right now is struggle to kill at a high percent off of just a stray hit. Obviously, you can find it in the depths against backer, but it gets a tricky recovery like Isabel, that's not always a guarantee. And so, um, and, and your confirms don't always work either. You're, like your dash attack, you lose all your dash attack confirms pretty much. Uh, you struggle to, oh, never mind, just the raw rod. Raw dog in him without rod. Got that dog in him, the dog with the rod. Grabbing on to this funny rod. frog. The dog with the rod grabbed the frog, and that frog is gone off the top. What's going on? Oh my! Very God. huge stuff. Yeah, I honestly I have no idea, but very very good stuff there coming out from uh from Jacker, able to go ahead and make it one one a piece between both players right now. Yeah, now this this is uh, this is much much better here from Jack Jacker, sort of ex exploiting Rakio's sort of desperation to find the kill, just running in, sort of swinging and pressing buttons. Jacker just slowly but surely establishing the that the game plan, saying, "All right, I, I'm starting to get a better idea of where you want to go, and I'm going to start covering it a little bit more." But the thing about Greninja is, is that if that party train gets started, then it's quite hard to slow down. Jacker though, stuffing the jump again, forcing the low recovery, better get up attack. Kind of finally going to come through, but these high jumps, Rakio still hasn't learned. That is a no fly zone, sir. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the thing is, right, Rakio is going to have to try and find a way inside. Jacko, really, as you said before, creating that zone, it's just, uh, it's just going to be quite hard to deal with there. And as we can see right now, 128% looking real dangerous there. Beautiful up throw coming out from Jacko there, Rakio suffering for that uh for that reason there now and it seems like jack is starting to pick up the pieces a little bit more now we did see earlier before in that very first game was overwhelmed by the greninja player but now uh, jack is able to find their footing here beautiful up tilt into up air conversion gets the down throw looking for the forward air isn't able to find it here just yet though but both players are scrambling to find this next stock again jack oh, hold on a second yeah. fishing rod hello yeah, yeah fishing rod can mess up when it's going over the ledge especially when it's as far over the ledge as it was just then it's not always a reliable grab and pull up it depends on the character's hurt box how it interacts with the edge of the stage i'm not sure of the specifics still jack her up a whole stock pretty much has to get off this uh that side platform not easy to do against greninja rock you're just trying to chase down trying to cover that jump with a forward air but uh instead we're throwing out that rod to, able to make it back but still jack her Taking their time, just not not forcing this recovery onto the stage. Using Isabel's floatiness, using Isabel's strong, long-range aerials, that can definitely just keep this uh, fast uh, this fast frog at bay, especially if they're trying to go through the air. I love the walk there. Oh, lovely walk up down tilt. But I love the walk there from Rock. You're trying to fake as if he was going for the Shadow Sneak because you're obviously forced, forced into a walk when you charge up Shadow Sneak. But uh, good, good little fake out uh, from Rock. You're then able to find the down tilt. Up smash off the back of it. Jack are going for an up smash of his own, but uh, not quite able to secure the kill. And so if you can't find the kill on those early stages of the stock, Jack just instead says, I'm going to sit back. I'm going to wait for you and I'm not going to force anything, and instead I'm going to find the quadruple jab into the down Hello? smash. Fighting water with water here, Azura. Yeah, absolutely. Like, just fighting the elements with the elements that you, you're going to be fighting with. But uh, beautiful stuff they're coming out from Jacker, getting uh, that beautiful conversion and taking the stock as well there. Rakio finding himself on the back foot. A little bit of a dangerous situation to put yourself in as well. Looking for these up tilts, able to find something. Those dash attacks once again proving to be a very pivotal point in this matchup as well. And also a bit of a pain to deal with if your name is Rakio there. The Lloyd Rocket is down. Don't think they saw it. They, didn't, they couldn't attack. Attack it there, the up tilt into up air, looking for it. Oh, but Jacko was prepared there with that nair, stopping him in his tracks there once again, throwing out another up air, 96%. There goes the Lloyd Rocket once more. Jacko all over Rakio right now, not giving them any chances. 
to just breathe. No, great delay on the rod, but oh, there it is once again. Way below of the ledge, not messing up this time. Rocky wants to run it back straight away, and Jack says, you know what, buddy? That's fine by me. I got all the time in the world. Up to Absolutely. one, and on the verge of making Switzerland proud with this deep loser's bracket run. And uh, if he can, if he can take this this uh, this fourth game over Rocky, that is going to give him a real, real nice three-win route. Uh, he's going to have to take on Kreps away after that, which is going to be no, no, uh, no easy set, but no, making it into top not, eight no. is looking a shoe in for Jacka right now. They're looking so, so confident. Both players now. Well, well, we saw at the beginning Rakil looking very, very confident, but now both players know that very, very much so that things can change very, very quickly here. Jacka being very big proof of that at the moment here. Uh, you know, he's playing really nicely, just conditioning super, super nice, putting a lot of pressure on uh, Rakuel, kind of waiting for uh, Rakuel to make a mistake and then just punishing it really, really nicely here. However, Raz looking uh, quite... Ooh, uh, edge cancel. Being, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, I mean, the movement's definitely stepped up a uh, touch. Even though Jack is still uh, in the lead, the movement from Rakuel is looking very, very nice right about now, but you cannot go to the ledge! Take a hold boy. of this pot! Oh my god, it ain't even 420, but Jack still keeps that pot on him. Oh my god. Jack still is blazing it for hand. sure. Absolutely. Still blazing it for sure there, Jack doing an absolutely incredible job of just taking that first stock there in the blink of an eye. However, though, going in a bit deep will still manage to make it back those balloons got a lot of helium left in them in order to make it back there rakio just trying to find something here isn't able to though still has the still has a stick. hey hello what did the what hey, no, 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 i think he fell out the bottom of that water shuriken but still able to find the back out on the forced high recovery jacka in no man's land and get sent to the to the other realm but uh oh my goodness the one oh my god the oh, no, still survived here rock you're still alive jacka looking to potentially just take the stock really quickly and up throw at this percentage with more than likely kill here gets the drag down looks for the up tilt into up air once again jacker gets the down there to go ahead and close out that stock huge huge stuff from both players oh jacker getting the up air once more looking for that parry though parry returns to parry there oh no look Rocky at that the combination off of the late hit oh. of that dash attack oh weird drag down but ends up rolling straight into the trap that jacket set up jacket is one stock away but oh my goodness what an answer there from Rocky! the drag down the great ninja bread and butter to find that early kill one stock is all Rakuel needs, but one hit is all Jacka needs in order to secure this set. And they are on the back foot right now, fighting for their lives, Azura. Both these players know what's at stake. They know how high the stakes are, especially knowing that they want to both get into top eight. Rakuel, a whole stock needed in order to win. Jacka, literally just a couple hits away from winning, as you said before. But it seems like Rakuel's dancing. The up smash coming out, 85%. Looking for something, Jacka realizes the position that he's in, and you only can you can only imagine the amount of pressure that's currently being put on him at the moment is immense the forward smash however no, 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 will take no. it and we have our final member of top eight being jacka huge huge win oh um, do, do you do you know the reason why that up smash didn't sweet spot from rakio mm, isabel has a short attack yeah. roll isabel yeah. has a short attack roll rakio spaced for a regular character's tech roll and isabel's bad tech roll just saved jacka from that up smash if, if, if isabel had a normal like, tech roll she would have gone to the full other side of that platform and gotten sweet spotted which is what rakio spaced for